Hello friends, Lee here from Tabletop Bomb. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to take a look at two of the top tier handheld dry herb vaporizers. The Storzenbeck Almighty Plus and the Tiny Mite 2. If you're in the market for a, you know, for a really good handheld vaporizer, no doubt, you know, these two, one of these two has occurred to you, if not both of them. So I thought I'd put together a video and just talk about the personality of these vaporizers, you know, versus one another. Not not to say which one's better, because I don't really know that there's an answer to that. They're different. But I don't know that one is better than the other. I think one can suit a person's personality better than another. So that's what we're going to uncover in this video, you know, which one of these two will fit you and your lifestyle better. That's kind of the goal with this. So let's start with, uh, let's start with the price. They're both expensive. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. They're both high end expensive vaporizers. But the thing with these is, if you break it down, and I think about things like this quite often, if you break it down as far as cost for the life cycle of the vaporizer, they're really quite, uh, quite reasonably priced. Because they last so long. Their life cycle is unbelievable. This is the Mighty Plus in front of me, but I've had the Storz and Bickle Mighty for, I don't know, maybe four years now or, or more. You know, and it, it works almost identically to the day I bought it. So when I really think about the price of that, let's say it was, you know, 500 bucks four years ago. That's 125 bucks a year to be running one of the best vaporizers available. I don't really think that that's too uh, too big of a deal unless, of course, it's it's the initial outlay. And I get that. That makes perfect sense. If you don't have the, the money on the front end. And, and it's going to make things tight, then I get that. But, you know, if you have the budget for it, I don't think that it's unreasonable what these things cost. I just think that it's a high uh, it's a high investment point compared to other vaporizers initially. But you get what you pay for, right? I mean, at the end of the day, spending more money on your devices on the front end, it does save you money in the long run. You know, picking up things like the the Storz and Bickle Mighty Plus or the Tiny Mite 2 and a tabletop bong. What it does is it allows you to get the very, very most out of the dry herb that you're buying on a regular basis. And that's the key thing, right? If you save money every day because you spend some money on your devices, over the life cycle of the devices, you end up saving a pile of money on the regular when you're buying your dry herb. So, you know, it just comes down to the way you look at it, but I'm somebody who I don't mind investing to save in the long run if it's something that I know that I'm kind of committed to doing, which is, you know, smoking weed or vaping weed. I'm I'm pretty much in. It's a deal. So I'm not afraid to, to save some money in the long run uh, by investing in, in devices. So, which, speaking of which, I've bought both of these devices, you know, they weren't sent to me by the companies, you know, this is my honest opinion of both of these devices, being somebody who's purchased both of them. Uh, the Tabletop Bong, I didn't need to purchase because I'm the inventor, so I had this uh, sitting on my desk already. This is the Walnut Finish, and in this bong today, I'm running the uh, Tabletop Signature Diagonal Cut. And I'm running that particular down stem. Let me just pull it out and I'll show you. For those who haven't seen it. You can see those nice. Let me get into the right focus zone. Nice diagonal cuts. It allows for a tremendous amount of, uh, of airflow. Very unrestricted airflow. Which with either one of these vaporizers is going to be a benefit. You know, it's going to help us get the most out of the vaporizer and get the most vapor per draw. Right. And that's, that's the goal too, right? Like efficient extraction. And this is, this setup's going to really help us maximize the efficiency of these already tremendously efficient devices. So what's the major difference between these two devices other than the visual? You know what, let's let's talk about the visual just for a second. And I'm gonna mention something about the Mighty Plus that most people will, once I say it, go, oh yeah, that makes sense, but might not have thought about it before. People talk about the size of this device. 
you know, people say uh, it's a big device. It's portable, but not pocketable is what I've heard that term a lot, right? And people saying, you know, uh, it's not the best one to take with you or whatever, it, it's big. Let me tell you what's funny about this device. And when you hold it, the actual footprint of this device in your hand is almost identical to the average size smartphone. So it has this unbelievably familiar muscle memory hand feel when you pick up the Mighty or the Mighty Plus. It's a really crazy little psychology that, you know, the average person might not pick up on, but, you know, I lined my phone up with this. My phone's taller, but it's otherwise, you know, it's basically the same size when I hold it in my hand. And I, I wondered why the, the larger size of the Mighty Plus, uh, you know, this device, I wondered why it didn't feel awkwardly big, why it felt so comfortable. And then it occurred to me, oh, because this feels exactly like my phone in my hand. So I don't really know that the size, except for portability, if you're trying to be super incognito, I get it. It's not going to be the best. Uh, you know, the Tiny Mic 2 is definitely much more palmable, right? You can, you can palm that. You can't palm this. Unless you got some real meaty hands on you. If you're totally palming that, I don't want to upset you. That's all I know for sure. But, so... You know, there's there's a definite difference looking at the appearance of these, but it's a super comfortable hand feel with the Mighty Plus. This tapered design, this side is narrower than this side when you hold the device. And when you turn it, you'll find which way feels right to you, but it has an actually a fantastic hand feel as well. So both of these devices, although awkwardly sized and kind of awkward to look at are incredibly hand comfortable. So for me, you know, that's a that's a big deal is, is the comfort in your hand. I, I want the whole experience to be absolutely fabulous. So, you know, either one of these for me, it works. I don't know how you're gonna feel about it, but I know that for me, that's why it works. So I thought I'd share that with you. Next difference between these two devices. The Tiny Mite 2 is pure convection vaporizing, and the Mighty Plus is a hybrid vaporizer. So they do operate a little bit differently, and that's going to give you a bit of a different outcome. The Why the Mighty Plus is a hybrid is because the oven itself, the bowl, is ceramic lined. And that ceramic lining is holding heat around the weed to keep the weed warm. Not vaporizing, but warm. And then when you draw on it and apply convection heat as well, now you get into the vaporizing with the Mighty Plus. So that's how it, it's a hybrid versus, you know, this being heated air that is pulled up through the weed and that heated air causes pure and complete vaporization of the weed with pure convection. So that's, you know, that's a, a big difference there. What does that translate to, or what does that mean to you, the person using the vaporizer? Here's the biggest deal, to be completely honest, about the difference between these two things. The Mighty Plus will get you into vapor faster. So if you have limited lung capacity due to, you know, a medical situation or let's say even if you're a heavy cigarette smoker and you know you're you're short on breath a little bit you know you walk up three four stairs and and you're short of breath you don't have a tremendous amount of lung capacity you might struggle with the tiny mite to to really be able to draw on it long enough to get into the the really great vapor you know what it's really known for it it, it takes a bit of a draw to get there whereas the mighty plus it's almost instantaneous vapor because it does have that hybrid uh, heating. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute. I'm gonna run a bowl of, of each one. Uh, and we're gonna do a couple of different things when I run the bowl, just so I can show the contrast, the actual demonstration of each one in these elements. Um, 
both devices, they do have very, uh, what's the right word here? Intricate, well-designed cooling units. The cooling unit for the Mighty Plus is built here into the lid. And the cooling unit of the Tiny Mite 2 is built into the stem along with the screen system. So they're both very, very well thought out, very well designed devices that have absolutely high functioning cooling units built into them. Uh, so let's talk about vapor quality for a minute. Which one of these kicks out better vapor? Honestly, I think it's a coin toss. I think they're both, the vapor's different coming off of both of them. There's no question about it, but I don't know that one is, you know, harder hitting than the other if you're running the same temperatures. And that's the key thing. If you're running the same temperatures, they're about equivalent. But what I do find as far as vapor quality is concerned, I find once you get into a bit higher of a temperature, I find that the Tiny Mite 2 is actually smoother. So it allows me to go further into higher temperatures and it has a higher temperature option. You know, the Mighty Plus tops out at 210 and the Tiny Mite 2, I think beast mode is about 240 degrees. <laughs> so there's a, a massive difference and what that difference does is it allows you to get definitely much higher temperature vaporizing with the tiny mite 2 giving you you know more of a stony effect so temperature for temperature even tiny mite 2 can get you definitely more high though in the end because you can vape on higher temperatures higher temperatures with better flavor than the Mighty Plus gives that top temperature, in my opinion. And of course, everybody has an opinion about this, but this is just how it works for me. And that's all I can do is share this with you, you know, how it works for me. Battery life. The Mighty Plus has pretty good battery life, for sure. You can, uh, you can vape for a long time. Uh, I don't know exactly what the specs are, but I mean, I use this thing a fair bit and I'm not charging it all that often. And here's what's really cool about the charging with this Mighty Plus. It's USB-C charge, and if you use, uh, it's an optional cord, it's not an included cord when you buy the Mighty Plus, but if you use an optional cord, I use a cell phone cord that I have that is built with uh, supercharged capacity. I plug it into the, the Mighty Plus and I'm up 80% uh, charge in about 40 minutes. So it's super fast charging and it lasts a long time you could probably i mean have 10 or 11 sessions you know bowl or two bowl sessions on a single charge so you know it definitely it has some some good long battery life and it's USB-C, super quick charge if you have the right cord set up so that makes it pretty cool tiny mic 2 removable 18650 battery i mean let's face it in my opinion, I prefer that. I like to be able to take the battery out, drop a new one in and carry on. You know, I don't like to think about too much if I'm going out for a day and I'm going to take the Tiny Mite 2 with me. I'm going to stick it in a case and I'm going to stick, you know, four extra batteries in there, let's say. I never want to run out of battery. But, you know, then I have battery for days. And yes, you have to buy more batteries and I use an external charger, but... For me, being somebody who wants to make sure I never run out of battery power, it's a great option. And with this Tiny Mite 2, you just bring, you know, depending on your vaping needs and your, you know, how your frequency, I guess, you'll learn how many batteries you need to take with you. But you can get a, a fair bit of sessions, you know, six or six or eight good uh, solid sessions off of a charged, a fully charged 18650. So it's not like, you know, you're only getting one or two good sessions off of it it does have pretty good battery life that's for sure but i mean overall on a single charge i think the mighty plus is going to take you further battery's not really a problem with either one of these devices though and it shouldn't be really in a high-end device right the battery should be a non-issue and really and truly once you have a couple of extra batteries for the tiny mite 2 it is absolutely a non-issue Otherwise, the major difference, and some people will 
will be annoyed with this and some people will like it. It all depends on how you feel, but the Mighty Plus has, you know, the full digital display. The Tiny Mite 2, it has an analog dial here at the bottom to change the temperature. You know, and it's a 1 through 10 kind of selection, so you just find your right temperature and you go. Some people don't like analog dials. Everybody wants everything digital now, and that's cool. If, if that's your thing, you're going to like the Mighty Plus way better. But if, uh, if you don't really care about that, honestly, I think once you find your sweet spot with the Tiny Mite 2, you're not really adjusting it that much anyway. I personally hit it on two temperatures. I hit it on around 7, 7.5, somewhere in that range. And Beast Mode. Those are my two choices. You know, if I'm going to have a session and I want to just puff away on uh load her up and get four or five rips off of it and enjoy the flavor and take it easy that i'm you know vaping on seven seven and a half with the tiny mite too <laughs> but if i want to get blasted i'm going beast mode and i'm doing one and done and i'm you know back to back in a few of those and i'm <laughs> having a grand old time and that's a, you know you can't do that with the mighty plus but put the mighty plus up to 210 max temperature and uh, rip a bowl or two, and let me tell you what, you're going to feel the effects of, of that quite drastically as well. So, let me load these up. I've, of course, kept this Mighty Plus nice and hot, because it does take a little bit of time to heat up. Of course, uh, it's nowhere near as fast of a heat up time as as the Tiny Mite 2, because the Tiny Mite 2 offers on-demand mode, which is an absolutely fantastic feature if you're somebody who likes to talk a lot while vaporizing. You know, if you're very social and you like to take a puff and sit back and talk, 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 take a puff, use the on-demand mode, you'll have the best flavor out of your weed. So, preheated to 195 degrees. Uh, Celsius and let's go ahead I want you to pay attention to the glass in this glass lung notice how very quickly we have this full of vapor and then I'm going to show you the contrast with the full convection really really fast to vapor. Now let's go ahead and we'll do this with the uh, the Tiny Mite 2. I have it set at 7.5, around 7, 7.5 right now. And it's turned on in on-demand mode. So let's hook it up to the bomb. Same water pipe adapter will work for both of them. And I want you to notice in the glass, I'm going to use the same amount of inhaling, but just notice in the glass how much longer it takes to see the vapor begin to produce inside the glass. You're not going to see it until I press the button. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the button. Wow. And I'm going to let it heat up just for, you know, five or ten seconds till I get the haptic feedback. And then I'll go ahead and hit it, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm a space cadet sometimes, honestly. Is it going to go or what? There we go. So you see, very nice, you see that it definitely takes longer with the Tiny Mite 2 to get to the vapor range or into vaporization than it does with the Mighty Plus. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to compare uh, a final rip here to conclude this. Both of these vaporizers at their maximum capacity. So what that means is I'm going to turn the Mighty Plus 2. Mighty Plus 2. <laughs> wow, it's working. The Mighty Plus up to 210. And we're going to turn the Tiny Mite 2 
in on-demand mode to 10, which becomes beast mode. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna finish this off with beast mode and then we'll flip right over and we'll do one rip here off of uh, the Mighty Plus at 210. And I'm not even gonna be able to speak by the end of that. So I'm just holding the button now to, to heat up this tiny mite too. <sighs> All right, this is gonna be fun. <coughs> I love beast mode. <coughs> okay, so we're at 210 <coughs> on the uh, Mighty Plus. So let's go ahead and we'll rip this. And I'm going to rip it hard so that we can get the absolute maximum effect out of this. And we'll see what kind of vapor production it's capable of. some pretty thick vapor <coughs> from both of these devices. <coughs> wow, that's some uh, pretty heavy effects, guys. The only other thing I realized as I was just taking that rip that I didn't talk about, so I'm going to talk about it right now uh, really quickly, is the boost mode. We have the beast mode, <laughs> which is a super high temperature rip, which you uh, obviously saw there, available with the Tiny Mite 2. And we have boost mode, which uh, you can, it's adjustable, but what it does is you hit the side button three times and it will jump the temperature, you know, 10 degrees or 15 degrees, whatever you set it at, uh, so that you can finish off your bowl on a higher temperature. It's a really cool little feature on the, the Mighty Plus. If you want a temp step with the Tiny Mite 2, you have to physically, you know, turn the dial each time you want to turn up the uh, turn up the temperature. Whereas you can you can set it for one higher temperature and boost with the Mighty Plus. So you know if that's something that you think is going to be a big deal to you, maybe the Mighty Plus is a, a better choice for you. Either way. <clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys the difference between these devices and what you can expect out of them. Uh, when you get the Tiny Mite 2, you also get a titanium mouthpiece, which you can remove the cooling unit and the screen unit and place it into this stem. You know, if you prefer a metal stem. I personally, I like the glass, um, especially if I'm using it without a bong. I really, I prefer glass path extraction whenever possible, to be honest. So that's just kind of my feeling on that. But, you know, either stem, it's just a personal preference, but it's kind of nice that it comes with the extra stem. So I hope that if you had questions about these two vaporizers, that that helped to answer them. You know, honestly, I, I don't think you can go wrong if you want a high-end vaporizer. You're, you know, you have the budget for it and you want to get the best possible experience from a portable vaporizer. I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these two. They're both fabulous devices. I use both of them on the regular. They're both part of my, you know, part of my reach for a vaporizer. It lands on one of these two very, very often. And I don't even know which one I favor more to be completely honest. I, I think I might reach for the Tiny Mite 2 a little bit more often than the Mighty Plus, uh, simply because of the beast mode. For me, beast mode, it it's a huge selling feature because I really like those super high temperature one and done rips, right? Like that, for me, that's my jam. So uh, I really enjoy that. And the Tiny Mite too, that it really shines 
right there. But the Mighty Plus turned up to max temperature, as you saw, it really can almost rival beast mode. So you're not giving up a whole lot, you know, as far as maximum capacity, if you do decide to go with the, the Mighty Plus. So that's my two cents on these two vaporizers. I hope it helped out. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you got anything at all out of this video. Until next time, thanks very much for watching and take care.